I will demonstrate how easily you can create a shareable incident out of a Fiori application. So this is a Fiori Launchpad. Um, it's an S4 HANA 2021 system. I go to Payments, Revise Payment Proposals. I can already see that something's not good. I immediately get an error message that a service has failed. Uh, I close the window and then if I want to submit this to the service desk, all I need to do is to press this button in the top right corner to create a ticket. So now I can enter a subject. Um, something like this. Here you have two extra fields. Um, this can be customized. So um, the default template con um, contains the impact and the urgency, but uh, almost all our clients want to customize the fields that are available for the end users to populate. I will uh, keep these values and um, I will also add some screenshots. This is explained here if you press this little button all you need to do is to uh, put a screenshot on the clipboard and then paste it here. So I press the save button to hide this window. Um, I press print screen, come back here and paste. So now I have one screenshot. Of course, you can repeat this as many times as you want. Um, and once you're ready, you just press the, press the send button. And the backend component creates the incident in Sharewell, generates some attachments and uploads everything to the new incident. You can also open it with a click of a button. So now you can see uh, the incident that was just created. Just like with the classic SAP GUI, you have pretty much the same benefits, the automatic routing and categorization. So you have the contact source pre-populated, the customer is uh, selected based on the SAP end user, here we have the um, uh, user input, the service classification. In this case, it's enterprise apps, SAP submit incident. You have the priority calculated based on the impact and urgency. The affected system is selected as the primary configuration item. The ticket is assigned to the relevant team. Um, in this demo system, we have only a few teams, but of course you can set up as many teams as you want. For example, one for SAP Finance, for controlling, uh, HR, and so on. And depending on the Fiori app or the system or the module, you can route the tickets automatically to the relevant support team. The second big benefit is here. You have um, a lot of um, attachments. Um, let's go to the second page here uh, to check the screenshot that was taken. Uh, when we started the process and that's attached here. Then we have a Fiori specific error log that's a text file. It's pretty technical. You have details about the user, about the um, Fiori environment. Here we have the last um, error messages. With a lot of details. This is very technical. It's definitely useful only for the um, uh, developers and technical consultants who might end up working on this incident. Then um, we have the console entries from the browser. That's again a text file. Um, and this is what you see in the developer tools of, of Google Chrome or, or Explorer or whatever browser you're uh, using. Again, that's good for the technical team. Here you have a PDF file, which is pretty similar to the one that is uh, created if you create a ticket out of a classic SAP GUI transaction. Here we have a header with the affected user and system details. Here we have the um, user input. But now we have a different section. Here we have Fiori specific details. You can see the form factor. It was not a mobile device, not a tablet. It was a desktop. Here we have the um, app type, um, URLs, app ID. So based on this, you can uniquely identify the um, Fiori application that was running. Um, you have version numbers, URLs, browser type, and so on. A lot of things that um, will provide valuable information for your uh, support teams. And then you have the um, classic um, information um, attached to the tickets by our add-on. Uh, the first one is the end user details. And the second one is the SAP application server details, database details, all the version numbers, and so on. And finally, you have the list of installed components in the system. So again, we provide a complete information package with every incident that is created. And um, 
we have two more attachments. We have um, the output of a standard uh, transaction called SU53. This is the standard SAP authorization report where you can find all the failed authorization checks with all the details. That also helps a lot. And um, let's check the last attachment, uh, which is an Excel sheet. Um, that's basically generated by a standard um, SAP uh, app support tool. Um, this provides a lot of similar information that we uh, gather in the PDF file, but it also adds um, some extra sections related to the front end server, back end server, and uh, here you can see um, the OData errors, no authorization to access this, that uh, service. Here we have a separate sheet on uh, the authorization uh, failures. Here we have um, uh, gateway related problems. This is the same attachment that you get if you go uh, here and choose app support. So that's the standard uh, feature of S4 HANA. That's what we can also capture and automatically attach to every incident. So the big benefit of this is that um, the incident is rooted and categorized automatically. It's assigned to the relevant people immediately and they will have all the necessary information to reproduce the problem and to work on the solution immediately.